<clears throat> All right. Uh, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Happy Tuesday to you. Well, they finally finished cleaning, cleaning, fixing my air conditioning, and they patched the hole in the wall. So I get to take my office that is currently in shambles and reclean it. Yay! And reorganize it. Yay! And put all this stuff back in the closet. Yay! But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be vaping this guy right here. This is the Inakin Gala. Very slick pod system, you guys. Very cool, very slick pod system. I've been using this actually for a few weeks, but this pod, this pod is on its last leg. So I'm gonna vape the last of this pod while I'm cleaning up my office. And hopefully by the end of it, we'll, we'll be back on the couch and we'll be back on the couch and we'll be up close and we can talk about how the gala worked while I was cleaning my office. All right, well, wasn't so bad, right? Cleaning the office, yeah, not so bad. And as far as the Gallipod goes, it, it's been vaping pretty well. So uh, I've been using this, like I said, for a few weeks now. I can kind of tell just from vaping it, this, this table's not secure. I can tell from just vaping it that this pod is in desperate, desperate need of a replacement. I've only filled it up about four, four or five times it's like i said it's been vaping great I, I i wish i had a little bit more life in it i just want to say the first gallipod didn't have so much life in it like i said only three or four four or five times refilling maybe and my biggest gripe with these pods is they are just so dark they are the darkest smokiest color pod that you can possibly have and if you want to see your liquid level you got to hold it up to the light up, up to a light, up to the sun. You have to hold it up to a light to see how much liquid you have on the inside. Additionally, this pod is, and this is something I can't really show you on video, but this pod is separated into like two chambers. And it's just because the coil head and the, the chimney that go throughout the pod are a little bit on the big side. And what happens is liquid just gets stuck on one side or the other. You can hold it up to the light and you'll see two distinct, distinct chambers. One is always gonna be really full. One's gonna be really, really low. The only way that I found to combat that is to flip it upside down. You kinda flip it upside down and give it a little wobble, little weeble wobble back and forth, right? Little weeble wobble back and forth and you can kinda get your liquid even again. You can see it's even and you flip it upside down real fast. Yeah, and now you have the same amount of liquid on both sides of the coil head. Small price to pay, I guess. It's, it's a nice vape, it's a real nice mouth to lung. What I like about these pods is I can do both mouth to lung and a restricted lung on this pod, these pods. It comes with two pods, okay? The non-ceramic pod, the plexus mesh coil head pod. I can do a mouth to lung and I can do a straight lung on it. I, I really enjoy that, that aspect of the gala. So they kind of took a little page out of the Jewel playbook right there. You kind of tap it three times, one, two, three, and it's gonna show you your, your battery level indicator. The different colors are the different battery level indicators. Additionally, if you hit it three times, one, two, three, it's gonna light up. You start shaking it and it's gonna change colors. See, now it's purple, now it's yellow, now it's blue. And if we just stop here, whatever color it was left on, apparently no color. Yeah, this, uh, this battery's just dying. Okay, let's leave it on red. If you stop shaking while it's on red, it'll stay on red. And then the next time you go to take a toot, mm, 
red. So because I need a new pod, and this is the last pod that I have, I opened up a new gala kit that happened to be like this super chromey, chromed out like pink color. It's like a purpley pink. The camera's not even really picking it up very well. It's like a shiny chromey purpley pink color. I'm just steal this pod. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to steal this particular pod. I might need to grab the other pod. No, I'm going to grab this pod. This pod, the pod that comes installed in it is the Plexus Mesh coil head pod. The other pod is the ceramic coil head pod. And for e-liquid, both will work. E-liquid will work better, in my opinion, in the 3D Plexus Mesh coil head pod than in the ceramic coil head. The ceramic coil head will work fine. The ceramic coil head, generally in pods, ceramic coil heads are more for cannabis byproducts. I don't have any here. I don't know if this will run distillate or not, but I believe that's what those ceramic coil heads are really kind of geared toward. Like I said, they'll, they'll definitely vape e-liquid, 100% vape e-liquid. What else do we get in here? You're going to get a lanyard. If you want to wear the gala around your neck, you're going to get a filling literature. They do come with these uh, tiny, tiny little juice bottle tip adapters for filling up the gala. There is a large instruction manual on the gala. Whoa! Anyway, that stuff aside, I just want to fill up this pod. I just want to fill up this new pod. And the, and the only way to fill up these pods is there's going to be a little droplet sticker over here. This is the side that comes up and it just reveals one singular hole, which one singular hole in vaping is the most annoying thing to me. Your air needs somewhere to go to. Thankfully, Inakin does include these tiny, tiny, tiny little liquid bottle adapters. I'm going to attempt to use one of these. No, that's the other pod. There are the liquid, these, these little tip adapters. I'm going to try to use this, see if it's going to be any easier to fill up this pod. I'm just going to be using some minimal. This is a 20 milligram salt nicotine. So here we go. All right, cool. Well, the, the little uh, liquid tip adapter did not fit on this particular Chubby Gorilla uh, liquid bottle. It doesn't, it just doesn't stay down there. You could probably hold it on there while you're filling it, but honestly, it was kind of just, uh, just as easy to fill it with that tiny little needle tip bottle. The only thing you really need to do is when you put the nozzle in there, just make sure that there's space for the air to come out past the nozzle. I like to press the nozzle in and pull it kind of to one side, just make sure there's enough space in there. I'm gonna leave this, uh, I'm gonna kind of leave this uh, sitting and just saturating just a little bit, just a little bit because we need to we need to get the liquid into the coil head so that we can vaporize it. One thing that kind of can help really well with pod systems, I don't know why I'm shaking it like this. That actually doesn't help, it's just a, I, I don't know, force of habit, I guess but you put your finger over the bottom of most any pod systems, cover up the airflow and just mm. cover up as much airflow as you can and take a few pulls. You should see some bubble action happening. You just want the liquid in the coil head. When you pop this coil head in here, it just, it feels very secure, but there's really no satisfying click or anything like that. So if we're going to talk about specs real fast, it is powered by a micro USB here for charging. 500 ma or milliamp hour battery on the inside. 2 mil liquid capacity for the pod. Honestly, it's just, uh, it's just so slick. It feels so slick in your hand. This kind of more than any other pod system that I've tried with maybe the exception, what was that thing called? Don't even remember what it was called. Holy crap, it felt like a little key fob. It was like a it was like a key fobby looking, I can't even remember the name of it. Zor. It feels very cool. Vady, very, Vady? What? Feels very cool, feels very slick. It actually feels like a, like a dope little piece of technology or something like that. Anyway, the coil head should be saturated by now. Let's vape. Mm-hmm. Mm. Beautiful. Good Lord, that was a good vape. Dense and flavorful. Just very flavorful. There's no crackling going on in these coil heads, which is my favorite thing. I would have loved some crackle in here, but there's no crackle, and that's fine. The airflow, like I said, on the mesh coil head, I can do mouth to lung, I can do direct lung, and I can alternate between the two without having to do anything or change anything or adjust anything. Mm -hmm. 
Mouth to lung. Let's try a lung. <laughs> All right, so 20 milligram with a lung inhale might be a little bit much, but my point is it vapes real well. I like being able to switch back and forth between like a very restricted direct lung and a very nice mouth to lung. The mouth to lung isn't tight. If you're a, if you're looking for a pod system that has that tight, 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 tight airflow, the Gala is not the one. It's a little bit open. It's a little bit swooshy. It honestly... It feels a little bit spongy there, I said it. Well, for a quick video, this was this is running real long. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands. I don't know why I did that. Vape budget hands. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Inakin Gala? Not really. Clicking around the internet, you can find this anywhere for about 25 to 30 bucks is the most I've seen it. You get a battery, you get two pods. One's a mesh pod, one's a ceramic pod. 500 milliamp hour battery, two mil capacity in a real, I mean, real slick, slick package. Nothing against Inakin, but this is kind of the nicest thing that I've seen Inakin released. This far and away feels like the most well thought out, like finished product. They went over everything on this and you can tell it just, like I said, feels, feels real, real high quality. If you're sick of chintzy little tiny plastic pods or broken jewel batteries. This is much thicker, much beefier. That's what she said. All around much more just hefty and well built in my opinion. I dig it. I dig the gala if we're gonna play the aliens game. I don't know man, there's so many pods. It's like I would probably get a drag nano cause I really like that thing. Maybe a gala would be in there. Certainly a kilo 1k if we're talking about pre-fills, if we're talking about Refill your own. I still like that Vladen RE. I, I do really like this gala. All right, just because I know people are going to ask and because I forgot to mention it in the video, how does it compare to the Caliburn? Here's what I'll say on that subject. I think the Caliburn is still a superior pod, refillable pod, but I think if there's one product that's gonna give the Caliburn a little bit of a run for its money, it's gonna be this gala. There's just a lot of options out there and I'm gonna throw the gala firmly into the really good pod system category. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description, so you have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Clean office, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>